and today I'm pleased to announce the first in Australia custom tuned Subaru Forester XT. Now these are the models a little bit hard to pick these days because they no longer have a um, bonnet scoop on the top but if you wanted a trick on how to tell a turbo model from a non-turbo model they've got this different side on the front of the bumper bar. But I digress. The thing that everybody wants to know about is just what we've achieved with this tune and how much better this car goes. A um, lot of work from Ecotec from a technical point of view for the last 12 to 18 months developing the software to be able to tune and adjust the factory Subaru ECU because remember this is a new ECU from Subaru with a new engine and new technology. Um, it's got the turbo built into the bottom of the exhaust manifold now. Um, intercool is still mounted on the top which is fed by this big uh, sock from the blower fan when we've got the car running on the dyno that you can see on our video pictures live on our website. But the uh, drivetrain on this particular car has got the CVT, that's the um, constant velocity transmission which is a, a uh, like an auto transmission but will able to be worked in 8 speed manual mode. We thought we might have a little bit of a problem getting it finished and run up on the dyno because these new technology transmissions on some model cars does cause a bit of problems with uh, electronic dyno tuning but we're able to hold it in gear very similar to the six speed transmission which is an option in the similar model or the WRX because remember the WRX comes with a similar transmission than what is in this Forester XT. But let's get down to tin tax. Um, from a dyno point of view you can see this information linked at the bottom of our video update um, and we'll load these dyno graphs to the MRT website as well. Um, this car was run up with our exhaust system to start with, so this particular dyno graph that we're talking about doesn't have a true honest base run. But interestingly, the first couple of runs we run up on this car, the car was actually struggling to actually make 130 kilowatts at the uh, drive hubs. Um, but then in the final update tune, when we went back, lo loaded a factory standard file back to the car, it actually pulled a peak power figure in kilowatts of around 140, 145. Um, kilowatts at the wheels at 5,800 RPM. That's starting at about 2,800 RPM with about um, 100 kilowatts. So the opportunity for these cars is to generate um, less of a surge in boost but more constant torque to make the cars perform better. Um, and then programming for the ECU to control all the torque limits and inf uh, information to the factory uh, CVT trends. Um, but the final result on this particular car is an incredible 178 kilowatts at the drive hub. So we're effectively adding around 30 to 40 kilowatts. Now, if you took the run as the original first power run on the car, we've really probably given over 50, but from our point of view, we think that was a little bit optimistic and possibly a, a first power run that really didn't represent what the car is truly capable of. This car's only got a couple of thousand kilometers on it, but um, from a long-term point of view, 30 to 35 kilowatts at the wheels with a MRT XB power kit that's combined with one of our custom exhaust systems, new car Subaru factory warranty guarantee, lifetime warranty on the parts and all those extra features and benefits is an incredibly good upgrade. But in the graph, the thing is the car actually, with an exhaust only in a standard tune, similar, I may add, to the WRX, really doesn't add any noticeable power to the car. It's when you tune the ECU to match the modified exhaust, does the car really come alive and really turns into a bit of a rocket ship? You can see on our website, if you go to the MRT website under uh, resources dynographs for the WRX, we did a back to back test with my own RD car, which is a six speed manual version of the MY15 WRX, same engine or similar engine to this one. Um, we ran the car up standard, then we bolted an exhaust on. And then, we, and then we tested it, not much difference in power, and there's actually a graph there that shows you. That was then repeated again today when we had a client drop in his new MY15 WRX where he'd been to another workshop, had a custom mild steel exhaust system off the turbo fitted. He said to us, it just doesn't go as good as what he expected, it doesn't go that much better. Put on the dyno, same dyno result, custom tuned the factory ECU, bang absolutely nailed the power, 225 to 230 kilowatts at the wheels in the WRX. So from a technical point of view, yes, there is difference from a peak power because this car, similar mechanical modification, similar electronic tuning, peak power around 180, WRX 220. So that tells you a lot about Subaru's technology and the engine. We don't know enough yet about just why and what some things are different, but from our 
R&D, the WRX engine is a lot more happy engine with the way we're running these power and torque figures. But the really good news is we're not talking about running huge boost increases. These cars with the uh, 2 litre direct injection technology engine already run a fairly modest amount of boost. We're talking 21 to 20 psi peak boost. That's what we're we talking uh, 1.5 bar. They have an analog um, gauge on the dash, which is pretty cool. Um, and a lot of people think, oh, let's just whack more boost in and we'll generate more grunt. Well, it's not about that. It's about ignition timing, cam control, fuel control, and bringing it all together in a reliable package to give it a reliable outcome. And this car is certainly going to be one of those cars. So whether you've got a WRX or the new Forester XT, really pleased to be able to give you this technical update. There's going to be a lot of people watching this video as excited as we are because we've got a lot of people been waiting. Because remember, this model here has been on sale in Australia since the beginning of last year. And it wasn't really until the WRX went on sale three or four months ago did we start to get some really good momentum in the R&D technology from Ecotech in the UK with their fantastic software updates. So the growing opportunity is around Australia. You can get these tunes done by the Ecotech tuners if you go to ecotech.com.au website. But for the MRT factory warranty guarantee tunes, go to the mrtperformance.com.au website and go to an MRT tuner in every capital city of Australia. And for today, I'm excited to go and road test this car and do a back-to-back -back test with my WX because we're doing more updates on that tune as well. But for today, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.